Hi guys, um, following a request today I'm going to be looking at a tyre pressure monitoring system. Now, um, these are available on eBay, they're made in China like most stuff nowadays and uh, because safety is a concern of mine, uh, I thought we'd uh, fit one of these to the scooter and see how it goes. So once again, let's see what you get in the box. So some instructions, as you would expect. Let's see what's in here. Well, the monitor itself with a, a screen cover on, we'll get that off. Two uh, sensors for your tires, obviously front wheel and rear wheel. Bracket. Now we're going to have to sort out where we're going to fit this on the bike. But, uh, this is a, a handlebar bracket by the look of it. And we'll see what we can do with that. You also get some locking nuts to lock the sensors on your valves. And I, a, a tool there to hold the sensor steady while you're doing that. And I think that may aid in changing the batteries. Uh, you also get a charger lead because it's a, a built-in battery in this and I believe the battery life is, is very long but we'll, I'll find that out as I use it. So that's everything in the box. Well it's very windy today so I'm staying inside the garage. I've fitted the sensor to the front wheel here as you can see. That's got FW on it and uh, fitted the one to the rear wheel now they're very straightforward to fit basically what you do is you spin on the locking nut spin on the pressure sensor and back off the locking nut until it locks in place so they're both securely in place now having put the tire pressure sensors on the actual wheels on the scooter in the garage i've come back into my kitchen and I did leave the unit switched on and um, there it is, it's showing the current tyre pressures. I checked these before I actually uh, put the valves on to make sure they were as comfortable with the tyre pressure. Now that's showing it in bar and I'm wondering if there's an adjustment for PSI. Either way, it doesn't matter. And yes, I would agree, it's a shame it's not got a scooter icon in the middle, but um, it's uh, it will have to do as a motorbike well my original plan for the unit was to fit it onto my glove box there with double-sided tape now um, looking at the back of it you can see that it's got a raised threaded area there which means to say that it's not completely flat so what I've done uh, initially is I've fitted the handlebar mount onto my front crash bar there. Now I put an additional piece of rubber in there just to bulk it out a little bit because this bar must be thinner than it's intended to but it seems to be extremely solid. Well as you can see that's the unit in place there. It sat very nicely on the uh, front crash bar uh, I've uh, reset it to PSI now uh, it's showing 31 on the front and 35 on the back the recommended is 32 on the front and 34 PSI on the back um, I'll get round to adjusting that but uh, it has an alarm and I think a, a, a flashing icon which comes up and tells you whether the tire pressure is going down I've set um, I've set a, a lower level for the tyre pressure and you can also see on there in the green numbers if that's clear enough for you uh, that's the tyre temperatures although I'm not sure how concerned I'm going to get about that but overall I think that works quite well and uh, I'm going to be trying that out <coughs> over the rest of this uh, well currently pretty awful summer and um, I'll let you know if there's any issues but so far quite pleased now like and subscribe if you want to see more videos uh, and I'll see you next time thanks for watching